thus far. You know, peptides. Peptides are really cool. The problem is they're not very absorbable. At least I couldn't find a way to do it without injection. I really despise injections. Like, my fish frog monkey mouse saber tooth spider cricket detest having to stab himself. So we got to looking at other methods of absorption. We came up with something that, well, I haven't seen anyone else in the game doing, at least not to any great degree. Started looking at a Dalton ratio. If you know what Daltons are. Daltons are the size of a substance. If it rates a certain Dalton ratio or less, it can be absorbed in different ways. For instance, peptides. Um, if you have a Dalton ratio of less than 500, that means it can be absorbed straight through the skin. Drop it into the bloodstream, right? If you have a Dalton ratio of less than a thousand, you can absorb it through the nasal cavity or the rectum. So the different methods to get a substance into your system are going to be pretty straightforward. You can inject 100%. All right. Now, how fast the release is thereof is different because directly into a vein is going to be absorbed very quickly. I mean, immediately, right? Um, into your muscle that has a little more blood flow in it than, say, your fat, well, that's going to be absorbed more slowly, but not the slowest method of absorption through injection. And then subcutaneous being even slower, but the problem with something like test is aromatization whenever injected into the fat. Now, the fact that my fish frog monkey mouse saber tooth spider cricket detest injections led us to, well, looking into another way of doing it. So we found the Dalton ratings of most of your peptides is going to be less than a thousand, which means you can absorb them through the nasal cavity instead of orally, which is not going to work because your stomach acid is literally going to break this stuff down and your liver is going to filter all your peptides out. You ain't going to get jacked from them unless they're small enough to absorb through the oral mucosa, which ain't going to happen with most of them. So here's the thing is if you were to take a peptide rectally, you would get 90% absorption. I'm an exit only kind of guy, so is my fish frog, monkey mouse, saber tooth, spider cricket. Um, <laughs> just isn't going to, um, well, stick anything up his butt. So, because of that, we go to nasal. We, oral is about 75% absorption of most things, but the deal there is, man, with a peptide or a hormone, the liver is not going to allow this to happen. So that led me to nasal absorption. If you were to take one of these peptides, which come in those little bitty bottles, you know, put it in there, why don't you take them and just put them in a liquid and 
this is 80 to 85 percent of your absorbable directly through the nasal cavity into the bloodstream. Now this does not mean that it breaks the blood-brain barrier, but it does mean that it gets into your bloodstream, 85% of it. So my fish frog monkey mouse saber tooth spider cricket loves, like for instance, epitalic. Or he's even trying oxytocin. Because of the safety of peptides, I decided that we should probably provide these on newsarms.com for others to experiment with as well. We know they'll be absorbed. There's not really an experiment here. My research animal has been researching with this one and this one for a little while now. Oh, and some CJC, and we really have a vast array of different ones, like a bunch of them. So if you're looking for a way to get peptides into your research animal without having to stick him, and the carrier here has a nice, pleasant smell, he tells me. So, just an idea that I thought might be something cool that you would like, that we are providing at newsarms.com. Um, check them out. Tell me what you think. I need feedback from your research as to how you do with your peptides. There's melanotan 2, there's oxytocin, there's epitalin, there is CJC with DAC, without DAC, CJC, um, there is GRP6, GRP2, or GHRP, you know what I'm talking about. Go check them out, tell me what you think, and, uh, as far as I know, these are only available through newsarms.com thus far. So, peace.